Today we're making this, the Jedi Temple Guard lightsaber. This project starts off like most of my 3D printing projects, on the internet. I found the files for this project on my mini factory. Brad Harris is the designer of this amazing prop, and he's actually done quite a few lightsabers from around the Star Wars universe. Links to this model are down in the description. For those of you keeping score, here are the materials I use to craft this prop. Prusa did its thing beautifully, and when it was finished, my first step was to coat the whole model in XTC 3D, just to start the process of filling in seams and reducing all the layer lines. With the resin fully cured, it was on to my favorite part of any 3D print, sanding. And there was a lot of sanding to be done with this piece. There are parts of the grip and handle that I wanted to have be super smooth and be super clean, so I spent an awful lot of time sanding these three parts. First run of sanding is now out of the way. Now, on to priming. I just used your standard automotive filler primer to start this whole process. After letting the primer cure, it was back to sanding. Like I said before, there was a lot of sanding and cleanup I had to do with this project. I really wanted to make sure that this was as clean and neat of a prop as I could make it. After a couple rounds of the standard priming and sanding gauntlet that you see with any 3D print, I finally got this thing to be as clean and as smooth and as neat and tidy as I possibly could get it. So next step, paint job. This was another straightforward paint job. Silver and gold for the main body of the saber and brown for the grip. I also used fluorescent yellow, some pastel blue, and red for the details. Now I chose to do something a little more obscure from the Star Wars universe. I went with the Temple Guards lightsaber. I know the main characters out there have their own lightsabers. So I guess my question to all of you, do you have a favorite lightsaber? Or is your favorite weapon from Star Wars not even a lightsaber? Is there a blaster? Let me know in the comments below. Final step of this project is putting everything together. I have to make one side note about this though. The main body to the lightsaber actually printed in three pieces, but because all three of those pieces were going to be the same color, I put those together at the start of the project off camera. It would just make things easier for me in the long run, help smooth out the building process. I used a combination of Micromark's plastic welder and super glue to bring this whole thing together. And now I have one cool prop for the prop wall. I know there's all kinds of crazy things to do with lightsabers, there's lights, there's sounds, but sometimes something simple like this is all you need 
to get in the spirit of May the 4th. I am very happy how this turned out. As always, like, subscribe, share. May the 4th be with you. Let's have a look at the final shots. Start the video. Oh shit! My bad, guys. See you next time. I can fix this. Got any glue?